This is example 7.5. A man performing a push-up as shown below has a body weight of 720 newtons and ground reaction force on the hands of 560 newtons, both directed vertically. The moment of inertia of the man's body about the medial lateral axis through the toes is inertia equal to 76 kilograms meters squared. Find the angular acceleration of the man's body as he rotates about his toes. Give both magnitude and direction. For this problem, let's first draw a picture. We have a man doing a push-up. He has a weight of 720 newtons, and this is acting at a distance of 1.2 two meters from his fulcrum or toes. Also his hands have an upward force on them of 560 newtons. This is acting at a distance of 1.6 meters. And just to make it easier I'm going to draw the arrow upward here. We need to find the angular acceleration of the man's body as he rotates about his toes. So, we need to find which of these forces is exerting a larger moment on the body to see which direction he is rotating, clockwise or counterclockwise. We know the equation for moment is equal to force times distance. We know the force of each of these and we know their moment arms or distance. So we can solve for the moment of each of these forces. Let's do that now. First we will do his weight. We know that that's 720 newton force times 1.2 meters. This gives us a moment arm of 864 newton meters in the clockwise direction because the force is causing him to rotate like this. Now let's solve for the moment of his hands. So we know that we have a force of 560 newtons at a distance of 1.6 meters. We'll plug this into our calculator. We find this moment to be 896 newton meters in the counterclockwise direction. Now, we can add the two of these moments up to find the total moment, but because they're going in opposite directions, we need to make one positive and one negative. Let's make clockwise positive and counterclockwise negative. So, moment of the weight plus moment of the hands will equal the net moment. plus the negative 896 newton meters. This gives us negative 32 newton meters. And we just decided that negative equals counterclockwise direction. So the question asks us to solve for the angular acceleration. We have a total moment. It gives us an inertia of 76 kilogram meters squared, and we're trying to find angular acceleration. We know an equation that uses all three of these things. That is, moment equals moment of inertia times angular acceleration. Our answer is negative but we've decided that that just means this is a counterclockwise moment. So we can write it as 32 newton meters in the counterclockwise direction. And it's equal to the number we're given for inertia, which is 76 kilogram meters squared times angular acceleration, which is what we're solving for. We will divide both sides by 76 kilogram meters squared
we will plug this into our calculator. We find that our angular acceleration is 0.421 radians over seconds squared. This is our answer. This is the example 7.5.